She's gone now. It's New Year's Day here in Illinois. I snuck into one of my favorite stands and I didn't bust any deer, so I'm, I'm feeling like a rock star. I walked up the creek the entire way. Didn't make any noise. I'm hoping I kill this velvet buck tonight. I've had four or five chances with him. Fingers crossed, see what happens. It is one degree right now. Me and my dad are headed to the blind. We're gonna try to get a doe while Tim goes just west of us. We'll see what happens. On the road again, I am headed to go sit. I'm gonna take my muzzleloader with me. Lauren and her dad headed to the blind. And I really need a haircut. I've been kind of holding out till the end of season for whatever reason. There shouldn't be any shortage of deer here, but We'll see how it goes. This weather's a little goofy. It's kind of blowing pretty hard and snowing and 
cloudy, misty looking, nasty weather. So, but I'm excited after a doe. All right, so what's happening is when I would rack the hammer or when I would rack the bolt, the pin would come back and I would shoot and it wouldn't move. So I pressed my thumb on that pin, it shot and it moved. So I knew it was gummed up. Oh crap. So I took it apart, <clears throat> backed the bolt off and there's a whole bunch of gunk and crap down in there. I'm gonna try to clean it up as best as I can, put it back together and hope for the best. Did I mention I have no idea what I'm doing? We'll see, worst comes to worst, I grab the bow and go somewhere. I think I got it. That little deal right there has to fall hard enough that it'll strike the the uh, the primer. And I think it's falling hard enough now. Now it's falling with a little click, so I'm gonna just throw a primer in there, barrel's still clean, and shoot it through, I hope it goes off. All right, that worked. I gotta load this thing up. So I've got about two and a half hours till dark. And I finally got the gun fixed. Got the GoPro without a bracket. And I've got my camera on a brand new tripod. What could possibly go wrong? This little berm right behind me is the next level to this top alfalfa field. I got the wing going this way. I'm just gonna sneak up on this berm, lay down. I only brought my bag for a gun rest. So I'm gonna lay it down in front of me, set up and just wait. Probably till the last 45 minutes of light, if nothing comes out, I can sneak down further that way to the lower tiers of the alfalfa field. Should be good, we should at least see something. Getting it on camera and shooting it, I ain't making any promises. I'm all set up here. There's this perfect little waterway dip in the corner of this field. For now, I think I'll take a quick nap and hope I wake up with some deer in the field. Just woke up from a nap and there's nothing in the field. It's about 3.30 or in the last two hours of the 2017-2018 hunting season. I think I'm gonna start to move a little, work my way down to the end of this field, look over the edge. There's gotta be deer in this alfalfa somewhere. There's some deer down here on this next deer. Oh man, this is gonna be tricky though. Well, that might end up being my last chance of the 2017 season. They busted me. There was like 10 of them. I set up on the one looking at me, thinking I'd shoot her. I tried to get clear in these branches here, but she busted me moving. I'm gonna go up to that corner and just sit on that corner and hope for the best though. There's some deer.
They're all starting to work their way north. Oh no, oh no, the big bucks on me. I'm making a run for it. Well, the gunshot, that's a plus. That's not at all the shot I was hoping for for the last day of deer season. What had happened is I, was, I looked in this lower field and it kind of L's here and goes back that way. And I had seen that all the does had worked that way under this ridge. And I thought the buck was right behind him, but he was actually down in this corner. So when I looked, I couldn't see him through the reeds right in the corner. And I kind of propped up the camera to talk to you guys and I heard him blow. And I saw him start going back to the uh, south here. And I saw the does kind of hopping straight west. So I booked it around this corner, ran up, just set the camera up there, snuck over the corner, was able to get a good solid rest, ranged them at 170, aimed just a little high on one, gun zeroed for 100. And uh, I'm not positive if I hit her or not. That's the one big downside to muzzle loaders is laying on the ground especially. All that smoke was right in my face, but I kind of hopped up and looked. I'm gonna give it a couple minutes and go look for blood before it gets too dark, but hope I didn't miss her. I felt steady. Time for the moment of truth. I got the gun cleaned and reloaded. I'm gonna head right over to where I hit her. Biggest problem being with the muzzle loader, you gotta look real good for blood because they don't tend to bleed a whole lot with a 50 cal. Fortunately, I'm shooting 150 grains of powder, which just seems to help, but I had a pretty good mark of where she was. The other advantage is I know exactly how far she was so I can rearrange where I was and have a pretty good radius. Well, I've been down here looking for about 30 or 45 minutes for some blood. And I can, I found all their tracks where they came skidding across this snow behind me for about 20 yards. I can follow each one of them. And there's no blood on any sets of the tracks anywhere. So it looks like it was a clean mess. Part of the reason I like bow hunting is there's Hardly ever any question like this. You could see your arrow in the video. You know right where it goes and right where it hits them. But yeah, all these tracks are bone dry. And everywhere around them. Give me the binos. Hold on, I'm looking. Got 
Her's going down. Got her. She's down. Yes. She's down. Yes. Drilled her. But she's getting back up. Sweetie's she's wobbling. Down. She's going down. She's wobbling. Big time wobbling. Her. Comes a death fall here in a second. She's fighting it pretty good. She's still standing there. I want to put another slug in her if you can. She's stuck standing again. Let me range it. She's only the same distance? No, she ain't. She's further out. 174. You keep it. Lower? Uh, hold on a second. Let me see if I can tell where you hit. You hit her a little bit far back. Well, she ain't going down, but yeah, give her another one. You missed on that one. Oh my god. No, yeah, she is now. Well, she's gone now. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Right on. So Lauren just texted me, said she shot a doe. I called her and she said she's worried she might have hit her a little far back with the shotgun. We'll give her a little time, check out the blood. Hopefully it's a good shot and we'll find her shortly. All right, so reviewing the video, it looks like I did shoot her a little back on the first shot. Second shot was about center of the body. Hopefully it got one lung. We're gonna head out there and see what we can find. Found the tree. She went in about 25 yards, a little east of that. So we're gonna go on this trail. We haven't found any blood yet. We're gonna check this trail, see if she went down. Oh man. Did you find any blood? No. There's be blood in here still. There she is. <laughs> no blood, but there she is. <laughs> Got snowed on pretty good. She's a monster doe. She only made it about 60, 70 yards from where I shot her. The second shot's really what did it. The first one wasn't so great. But it's the last day of season here in Illinois. I'm just glad we were able to get it done.